Outlander TV series inspires Edinburgh property renovation venture. Cat Casper's properties include a one-bed flat inspired by the Outlander honeymoon scene. A Brazilian homeopath has started a new life restoring properties in Scotland after a scene in hit TV series Outlander inspired her to relocate. Cat Casper is working with Edinburgh-based Moonerstone Properties to restore rundown properties into romantic holiday lets where she hopes courting couples can fall in love with each other. In Scotland, her properties include a one-bed flat in Edinburgh's Dean Village, built in the 1880s, which has been inspired by the honeymoon scene in Outlander, with stone walls, exposed beams and a large feature fireplace. I read all Diana Gabaldon's Outlander books in the 1990s and when the TV series came out in 2015, I just decided to myself. I need to be in Scotland, explains Casper, who specializes in treating patients with post-traumatic stress disorder. After living and working in London for 20 years, I changed everything, my house, my business, and moved here with my family. The Dean Village property was designed to replicate a scene on Outlander and it was the one scene that made me decide, right, I'm moving to Scotland. It's a love scene and that's what inspired me to replicate Outlander. It's Scottish through and through, a little bit old-fashioned, but in a Scottish way like going to a castle or a lodge in the Highlands. Minnerstone Properties specializes in renovating and designing Edinburgh properties and is run by husband and wife team Gillian Taylor and Ewan McCaskill. For the Outlander apartment, Kat asked me to watch episode 7 of series 1, which is the honeymoon scene for the two main protagonists in the series, Jamie and Claire Fraser, played by Sam Hewan and Katrina Balf, Taylor explains. The entire episode is based in a room above an inn, and I was surprised to see on watching it, that actually there was very little comfort in the setting. But I understood it was actually the ambience that Kat wanted to recreate, with the romantic glow of candles and fire, the wooden floors, the real stone, the honeymoon bed and, most importantly, the feeling that two people could be completely cosseted in their environment, despite, in this particular episode, the raucousness of what was going on in the bar downstairs. So I set out to create this ambience but in a uniquely indulgent way. It took a lot of time to source the content. Taylor continues. For example, Casper loved Outlander's fictional Lollybrock estate, filmed at My Hope Castle on the Hipton Estate near Edinburgh. So we bought a vintage-style leather trunk and painted Lollybrock as the destination on the trunk and added old-style padlocks, Taylor explains. Regular visits were also paid to the Holyrood Sow's Yard, where I bought old paraffin railway lamps. We even brought two old railway lamps back in our hand luggage from the weekend in Amsterdam. Other touches include an arts and crafts-style bed with velvet drapes, an antique sofa, a mural of Edinburgh's Cowgate in times past, reflecting the starring role of Edinburgh's old town in the TV series, and a leatherwork shield inscribed with Casper's favorite phrase, Albigu Brat, meaning Scotland forever. Casper says she first fell in love with Scotland during a school trip 25 years ago and wants other people to share her passion. Scotland changed everything in my life, she says. I wanted to spend the rest of my life in Scotland and it was 100% to with my love for the country. Once you come to Scotland, you know it's amazing. It's a completely different way of life that is much more idyllic and romantic in a way, and much safer. It can be difficult to see that when you've been established for such a long time in a city like London. Casper is also renovating a 200-year-old mill outside Edinburgh and a summer house in Juniper Green. The makers of Outlander confirmed yesterday that they will make two new seasons of the show, which is based at the Ward Park Studios in Cumbernauld and filmed at various locations including Scotland, Cape Town, and Prague. The series is based on the best-selling historical time travel series of novels by American author Diana Gabaldon. It is developed by American screenwriter Ronald Dallamore and produced by Sony Pictures Television for U.S. cable and satellite TV network stars. UK viewers can watch the series on subscription TV service Amazon Prime.